We begin with module 2 and this module actually contains three chapters. Uh, the first chapter is a little bit stressful because it's the word problems. So uh, the assumption here is that the kids still know their bar models from grade two. So these bar models are the add a uh, part whole, then the add on, take away, and the comparing. So for reference, I'm gonna go ahead and write them down here. So the first one is the part whole. So this is the A and the B, and this is the whole. So if we're given A, B, and whole. So this is how we should be teaching our kids. So if A and B are given and the whole is unknown, this is an addition problem. If A is given, B is unknown, and the whole is given, then this will be a subtraction problem. So the logic is if a part is missing, that's subtraction. And if this is unknown, given and given, then that means that as well is a subtraction problem. The second is the add on, take away. Okay, so I'll uh, write it here. So the add on versus the take away. So here this is dotted and this becomes solid. Okay, so this is uh, the original amount. I'll call that OA. This is the amount added. So I'll call that AA. And this is the total amount. Okay, so here, this is what the amount left. Okay, this is the amount taken away. So, amount taken away. And this one right here is the original amount. Okay, so again, for this one right here, what we need to remember is if the whole is a question mark, we will add. If a part is missing, we will subtract. Okay, and finally, the last is the compare. So when we do the compare bar model, A and B, okay, this means A has more than B. Okay, and A and B, this is the other way around. Okay, so this, right here would be B has more than A. So in essence, what we need to remember here is if the bigger one is given, then that means we're missing one of the parts. So if the part is missing, then that's a subtraction. But if the bigger part is the one that's missing, then that would be addition. So all of this is summarized in the PowerPoint that comes with the modules. So if uh, you find it difficult to start teaching your kids, you need to refresh and study these. Now, it's also understood that the kids still remember the two-step word problem. So that's two steps or two-step word problems entail the use of multiple bar models. Okay, so to demonstrate the lesson, we will start with Page 78. So we start with problem number four. In this problem, it says Brandon sold 1,950 boxes of cookies. Sarah sold 1,520 more boxes of cookies than Brandon. Okay, so there's two characters. There's Brandon and Sarah. Brandon has lesser than Sarah. So this is clearly a compare bar model. Okay, so the question though has two parts, which means this is a two-step bar model. 
Okay, so I'm going to start with, this is problem number four. We will start with A. Question A says, how many boxes of cookies did Sarah sell? Okay, so Brandon and Sarah are the characters. Brandon is shorter than Sarah's because Sarah sold 1,520 1, boxes more. So this is 1,520 boxes more than the 1,950 boxes that Brandon sold. So the question in A is how many did Sarah sell? So clearly, this is an addition problem because the whole is missing. The longer one is missing. So we start with 1950 plus 1520. So when we add, we start from the right to the left because this is computational. So this is 0, 7. We start with a 9. It needs a 1. Therefore, we have an extra 4 making this 14. So this will be 3,470 boxes were sold by Sarah. In letter B, the question is how many cookie boxes of cookies did they sell all together? Now, the drawing of the book has only one and it gives a question mark here. If I had a choice, I would redraw and make it a part whole bar model. Okay, so this is longer. So this is Brandon. This is Sarah. So again, the book puts a question mark linked together. But for me, I would make it a part whole bar model so that the kids will see clearly. So here, Brandon has 1,950. Sarah has 3, 4, 70. All together is the question. So since we're looking for the all together, which is the whole, this is another addition problem. So we start with a bigger number, 3, 4, 70 plus 1, 9, 50. We add the zeros and then we start with a 7 plus the 5, which means we need 3 more. To get to 10, we have an extra 2, which makes it 12. So we have a 2, carry. So again, for consistency's sake, what we need to do is start with a bigger number and add the 4. So that means I need 1 and I have an extra 3. That makes it 13 plus 1 is 14. And 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5 which means altogether they sold 5,420 boxes. I've also selected problem number 5 of page 79 to demonstrate the bar models. So problem number 5, I will also discuss with Michelle's version and the box version. So uh, the problem says the sum of two numbers is 50. The greater number is 38. Okay, then it says find the difference between the two numbers. So if I were doing this, I would do a part whole bar model. So we have the greater number and the smaller number. Okay, so in total, it says the sum of the two is 50. And the greater number is... 38. So if they want the difference between the two numbers, we need that two numbers. So which means we will compare the greater number with a smaller number. But the smaller number needs to be found first. And whatever answer we have there, we will put down below. So this is the greater number. And then this is the smaller number. And the question is, what is the difference between the two? Okay, now the way the book does it is it just offers one bar model, which I believe if the kids looked at, they will be too pressured and too confused because this is supposed to be a two-step 
word problem. So clearly, if it's two steps, it's easier for the kids to recognize two different bar models than just doing one bar model. So I'll put the bar model of the book down below here. It says greater number, smaller number, and then it goes like that. And then this is the dot, and this is the question. But then they say this is 50, and they say that this is 38. So again, parents, I believe that this is too confusing for the kids. We're better off with if we do the part whole first, and then the compare, because at the end, they're saying how much is the difference, So which means we have to compare. Okay, so for the first step, we need to find a part. And when we find a part, that means that's subtraction. So 50 minus 38. So 50, take away 38. We start with the 8 taken away from the 0 cannot be. So this becomes 4. This becomes 10. And that's 2. And that's 12. So that means the smaller number must be 12. And the greater number must be 38. So in the second step, we need to again find the difference because a part is missing. So which means this is 38 minus 12, which means when we subtract that 6 and 2. So the difference between the two numbers must be 26. Teaching word problems could really be one of the most challenging things to do to uh, for an adult. So uh, my suggestion, parents, is please make sure to redo the problems before you teach your kids. Because if you're stressed teaching your kids, you'll pass on the stress and you don't want that. So that concludes our lesson for this chapter.